Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, today in this video I'm doing a photo critique. And this one, I've got it of Zach, no, Zachy Charles. Uh, it says, hi Dom, I'm studying photography at college and I'd like you to critique a few of my photos. Uh, I give you permission to use my photographs in your YouTube videos. Okay, cool. So let's look at the first photos. And I haven't seen these before, but he has given them names, which is good. So let's get into them. Okay, first shot is called Dual Carriageway, uh, and he's obviously done a long exposure from a road bridge shooting down onto the road, and he's obviously desaturated it all so that it, oh, desaturated everything apart from the red lights, which is quite cool. Um, if you look closely, you can see uh, the road sign up there with a little warning sign, uh, and you can see how the reds then turn to yellows later on, which is quite cool. And over here is just kind of a blinding light coming along here. Um, so yeah, that's that's a cool shot. Um, what I would say is that it is actually still a very dark image. So even though you've done a long exposure, it's obviously at night time, there's just no light in the sides of the, the uh, road at all. So that's where I would say an even longer exposure uh, might have been handy, or a higher ISO, just so we can actually see uh, something. Because all those lights from the cars you would think would give more of a reflection off the, the centre barrier there. Um, so it is a very dark, or maybe there just weren't that many cars. Obviously if you go to a more busy highway, uh, there'd be a lot more cars there. Also, maybe bring in some of the colours, like colours of the road and all that. But otherwise, yeah, it's a good, it's a striking image, but it's not really showing me that much. Yes, it is following the rule of thirds, how it all kind of leads off to the left, but it leads off to nowhere. It doesn't really go anything. So if you're following the light up to there, it's just up to a couple of highly lighted trees out there. There's not a point of interest at the back. Um, and, and at the front, there's not really a point of focus. It really is just a light painting with the cars. Um, so yeah, that was that was a good technique. You've also used a tripod and there's been no vibration or anything, so that's quite cool. Um, but I think, I think it could be enhanced, that's for sure. Okay, next one, and that one was just called something. Let's see what the next one is. Sunny sky. Okay, here's the image. Loads of noise in this shot. I don't know why there's so much noise. You can see green, red, uh, blue pixels massively there. Um, so a huge amount of noise, which makes you think you've done an HDR image with a high ISO. Oh my God, it's even worse in, in this cloud here. So if this is an HDR, then uh, if you're doing HDR photography, you always make sure you put the lowest ISO possible. Um, but yeah, you, your sensor is really suffering here. Um, so I don't know why the noise is so high, especially with the, sh the sun shooting straight at you. Uh, what would be good is maybe if you had a filter, a neutral density filter that would cut out the sky and also make the grass a little bit more interesting. Uh, okay, it's quite a central shot and it's uh, very well leveled. But again, I'm just not really seeing that much of interest there. It's not really a stock image of anything. And with the amount of grain and noise in it, it really is a kind of a low quality. You can also see, uh, yeah, just like really bad blobs and stuff there. Um, so yeah, uh, f fine, but it's not being that interesting to me. Let's see the next one. Okay, good one. like this a lot. Um, amazingly close capture of a single droplet coming into a, a glass of water. Um, yeah, that, that is really cool. Well timed. Uh, you've even got this extra little kind of blob of water just about to either hit or come out of the, the uh, reflecting stuff there. Nice colours. Uh, you can see a cool reflection in the actual uh, light here. So I'm guessing you probably did it near a window or a, I doubt that would be a giant softbox. Um, but yeah, no, that, that's a very cool shot, very stock photography-esque. Uh, what I would notice is that there is a burnt, uh, what do you call that, that's, that's not, is that a burnt pixel? Instead of a dead pixel, that's a burnt pixel, I think is the term, uh, is when it's just giving you a random pixel dot. Um, and there's some other things going over here, that might just be the water or is that dirt in the lens? Uh, anyway, I'd uh, use the clone tool to take those out, uh, definitely, but, and yeah, you've definitely got something over here, you see the kind of circle there. Uh, so I think you need to clean your sensor or clean your lens uh, pretty, pretty soon. But yeah, no, that's a good shot. All sharp, very nice. Very, very nice, good one. Okay, this one's called Just In Reach. And it looks like it's a very small child's hand coming up to um, 
to touch the, the door handle or something. Okay, I see what you're going for. Short depth of field, hand in the kind of right hand side of it. Okay, that's cool. What I'm noticing is there's a bit of a scar down here and along here. Uh, I don't know what is that, whether the kid has a scar on his arm, but uh, there's also a scar on the door, and that is distracting me straight away. So it makes me think, ooh, that kid has got a scar on his arm, and he's reaching for a door handle. Hmm, not that good. Uh, I would like it to be a little bit more contrasty. It's a bit, you know, if this is meant to be like a, oh, hand coming up to do something dangerous, I want more contrast. Uh, the background is also just kind of a little bit, what is going on here? Is he outside? Is he, is that the garden? Is this a, a inside the house? If it is, what the heck is that over there? Uh, so the background is being distracting to me. Uh, the contrast, I would like to be up a little bit more. Um, but uh, again, it yeah, I think if you increase the contrast, then it'll, it'll give me a bit more of a, a punch and a feel to the image. Uh, so yeah, that was okay. Okay, here's the next one, it's called Wedding, uh, it's obviously two people, I'm guessing they might be maybe at a wedding, maybe even getting married, just guessing there. Uh, it's good, and they're looking into each other's eyes, that's very nice, that's very cute. Sometimes it's nice if, if one's looking into the other one's face and the man is looking straight towards the camera, um, or the other way around, it's, it's quite nice uh, doing those kind of shots. What I would have done is uh, definitely do the clone tool or the thingy tool to get rid of, for example, spot on chest. Sometimes even taking out moles, some people don't like seeing their moles. Um, and I would take that out. Uh, same on the skin here, I would definitely try and work uh, on some of that. But yeah, the background is quite interesting because it shows you it's an outside and it's been well exposed. So yeah, it's good exposure uh, going on here. Uh, the suit is quite dark, so maybe a tiny little bit of light film might be good. Um, but yeah, that one's fine. Uh, the other thing, you, if you're really editing your photos, this, this would take ages, is if you see here, she's got the bra lined hand strap. Um, and I, if you could ever be bothered, try and take that out. Uh, certainly, because some people might later on go, oh yeah, I've, I've got a strap line there. Obviously, her makeup artist or um, people should have, lots of fake tan, lots of fake tan should have sorted that out. Um, but yeah, good exposure. Okay, cool. Uh, but again, I think it could, it needs something more. It needs something more, like a bit of flash to the side or something else. Like if you use some flash you could have brought the exposure even further down and the background would be really kind of dark and dramatic and then the light on them could have been a like, perfect exposure on them but a really dramatic sky in the background. But again it's a wedding, you don't, do you really want dramatic? I don't know, nah probably not. Um, okay yeah so that was uh, the thingy for Zaki Charles. Okay I uh, hope that helps. Cheers, bye.